Hi everybody, welcome back to LDRS Creative. It is Thursday night in studio. So excited to be here. Alan is coming around here and checking to see if y'all are coming in. He put a screen in front of me so I can see, you know, when everybody says something, which is really nice. We've got some people coming in already, which is always fun. So thank you so much. Hello to Jen and Regan. Uh, Shelly is here and Teresa. Stephanie Sharples is here. Um, Angel, and let's see, who else is coming in? Some of them just say Facebook user, so I can't see the actual name. Becca is here. I saw your name pop in. Hello, hello. Teresa's here from sunny Fremont, California. Awesome. Uh, Beth Valone, hi. Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to see you guys. It is always good to be back here and doing some fun stuff. As you can see, I am dressed for fall. It was 85 degrees here yesterday in Michigan, and today I'm not even sure we broke 60, so <laughs> we're all over the place. We've got fall fighting with summer, and <laughs> uh, yesterday summer won, today there was another battle, and it looks like fall won, so uh, in the end I think it's going to be fall though, fall's going to win out, but um, anyway, yeah, I put jeans on for the first time in several months, and um, which is really, really weird. Did you ever notice how, like, you're, well, if you don't wear jeans all summer, because I wear a lot of a lot of dresses in the summer, and then when you put jeans on, it's like all of a sudden you feel like everything is just like tight and you can't move. And I mean, maybe 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 I gain weight. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. but I always feel that way. It's like you go from not having to wear something that's restrictive to putting something on like that, and you're like, oh boy, this takes some getting used to. <laughs> well, that was me today, getting used to. What do you want to say? That's why I get the stretchy ones, and then. <laughs> It looks like you wear 33s, but you don't. <laughs> yeah, Alan said that's why he gets the stretchy ones. I, you know, hands up. Who likes stretchy jeans? I, I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest with you. I like something that kind of holds things together. <laughs> Well, you can wear a belt. But. Yes, you can wear a belt, but just in general. I don't know. Something about stretchy ones, they always seem to get bigger as the day goes on. And I don't know. Maybe that's a benefit. Maybe you end up looking smaller as the jeans start looking bigger. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're off topic. That's not why we're here. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> so I still have this annoying little cough. I can't get rid of it. It's all because of the change of season. So just bear with me on that. I'm not sick. All is good. Um, but anyway, who else is here? We've got more people coming in. Um, so it looks like, who is it? It's X Crafty. Is that Will? That's Will. Yeah. That is Will. Okay. Hi, Will. Um, who else is here? Dieta is here now. Sheila is here. Um, got some more people. Sandra Yee is here. Hi, Beth Brooks. Um, hello, everybody. Okay. Well, um, I think I have um, stalled long enough. We're going to get going. We're going to do some fall stuff. I am going to do another envelope because I am addicted to the envelopes, to the A2 um, envelope die set. Absolutely addicted to it and I want to have an envelope with every card I make now. So I'm going to be doing a card that is going to coordinate with, I'm sorry, an envelope that's going to coordinate with the card that I'm going to make. Um, so who else is here? Oh, Patty Redman is here. Hi, Kim McDaniel. Mc, McDaniel, <laughs> if I can get your name right, is here. Hi, everybody. Okay, we're going to go ahead and switch the camera and we're going to get started and we're going to work with one of our really super fun uh, large words. This is, uh, this is only the second one that we've done. They've been a huge hit. I love them and they make for really, really easy, clean and simple card making. So, you know, stuff you can crank out kind of quickly, you know, for mass producing. So we're going to switch the camera and go to camera two. There we go. All right. So <coughs> the word of the day is thankful. <laughs> Can you say thankful? What's the letter of the day? What's the letter of the day? Yes. T for thankful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to be working with that. Um, the big words, our, our very first one was thinking. Um, did you go to camera two or camera three? I think you went oh, to camera three. three. Do you need two? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. There we go. That way we can see the whole thing. The other two? Yeah. The first set that we did was thinking. This set for fall is thankful. And... Um, <laughs> it's really not for fall. I mean, thankful, you know, you think of like Thanksgiving and stuff like that. But really, I mean, you know, we're thankful year round for each other, for our friends, for our health, for our families, for everything, right? So this, you can actually use these all year long. Um, so as I said, the big word is thankful, but you've also got five other stamps. So you have one for you, for so, and for. And then the little added bonus here that says for all that you do. And this gives you an idea of a card that you can make that's not for fall. This is really for year round. You can make that at any time for spring, for summer, whatever you like. And then we also have 
the Big Words die set. Um, these, both of these can be used on their own, standalone. You don't have to mix and match them, but you can. Um, I will tell you this, the Large Word Thankful die, let me flip this over so you can see what they look like, see? The Large Word Thankful die is the exact same size as the Large Word Thankful stamp. So technically, could you stamp it and then die cut it? Yeah, or you could just die cut it out of you know pattern paper or colored paper or whatever you want. Um, because they're, exa they're the exact same size, personally I wouldn't stamp it first and then die cut it I would just die cut it out of whatever paper I wanted um, and then the sew for and you those are gonna be die cut as well the thing that coordinates between the two is that that shadow die that's in the background that cuts that that blue shadow in the background that's the outer die there because the thankful words are the exact same size you can use that shadow die whether you have die cut your thankful word or stamped your thankful word so this is a really great set um, to have together um, I've also got out my uh, leaf outline. This one is, well, it's inky. That's why it looks, mine looks kind of yellowy and dirty, but it's because I've got, I've been inking with it. There's two stencils in this leaf outline. This is the pattern that you're going to create. Um, so you can see where we've got kind of the dark green on the outside is one stencil. And then um, the little, what do you call those? The veins, I guess, of the, of the leaves are the second stencil. And it's really fun. You can, you can mix those up with a whole bunch of different colors. Um, let's see, what else did I pull out? Well, that's all, I ha that's all that I pulled out for the card. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the envelope. So this is what we're going to be working with, these three products here for the card. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I've got my little bag of tricks here. Alan, if we can come into camera two. two. Three, yeah, the other two. <laughs> um, I'm going to move some of that off to the side there because I don't want you to see what I've prepared. Uh, let's see what I'm going to be working with here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Alan, you're going to have to move the die cutting machine over to me. I forgot to grab that. <clears throat> okay, so here's what I've got. All right, this is what I have right here, okay? So this is an orange. I decided I wanted to work with orange and red. I just kind of thought, fall, what do the leaves look? I, we have a lot of orange and red when, once the trees start changing a lot. And so I have an orange card base. This is an A2 card base. Um, this started out as a, an eight and a half by 11 uh, sheet of cardstock. I cut it lengthwise at four and a quarter, scored it at five and a half, and so I have a tent fold A2 card now that is four and a half by five and a half, or sorry, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then um, both of these, these are just my Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. This one is A2 sized, so you can see it's exactly the same size as the card base. This one I trimmed, um, I trimmed an eighth of an inch off of uh, both the short side and the long side because I decided I want to use this for my sentiment and I wanted it to be just a little bit smaller on the inside of the card. So you get that little bit of orange around it. So that one's going to go on the inside. And then the other piece that I have is, um, oop, I forgot a piece, oopsie daisy. The other piece that I have is red. This is also a two size. Can you see over there, Alan, between the two gray, um, those things, yes, right there, right where your hand is, the little piece of gold, the little one, the little one, right next to it. Yep, right there. Okay. So then I also went to my, uh, my stash and I grabbed, um, it's just a gold, you know, nice shimmery gold foil piece of, um, of cardstock. So this is, this is my plan. This is what I'm starting with. We're going to get started <coughs> with um, the A2 uh, size of the Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. I've got just a little scrap piece of, of junk paper here uh, that I use whenever I'm stenciling. I'm going to grab my stencils and I'm going to create a background. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I didn't want to use a, a pattern paper. I wanted to create something special with my stencils. So I've got my leaf outline stencils. These are six by six stencils. Here are the two stencils, right? I'm going to start off with this one, which gives me that beautiful outline. And I'm just going to lay this over my card, just like that. I've got two colors that I'm going to work with. You saw the orange and the red. I'm going to uh, work the orange and the red all throughout the entire card. So we're going to do a background that is orange and red. I'm going to start off with Tangerine Dream. 
All right, so this is our hybrid ink. If you're not familiar with it, it's a go-to ink that is a combination ink. You can use it on, for just about any application. Um, I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, ink blending with this, but you can stamp with this and color with markers. You can your Copic markers, let's say. You can stamp and color with watercolors. You can stamp on uh, glossy surfaces, on fabric, on wood. Um, all kinds of things. You can color blend with it. You can even use your embossing powders with it. It's just a real versatile ink. Um, I love hybrid inks. Absolutely love them. So we're going to start off with, like I said, this is called Tangerine Dream. And I've got one of my little brushes here. And I'm going to try very hard without taping this down. <laughs> I should tape it, shouldn't I? I'm going to tape it because if I don't tape it, I don't normally tape it when I'm just working in my studio and that way if I make a mistake I just kind of, well to be honest with you I start over, um, unless it's in the middle where I'm going to be covering it up. But since we are on camera and I didn't get myself an extra sheet just in case I goofed, I am going to tape it down. So I'm just going to go in here and give this a real pretty orange over the entire stencil. I love this orange, it's so pretty. It's not real deep, that's why we called it tangerine. It's, it's a real, kind of a bright orange, really, really pretty. Um, it is the lighter color to the other orange that we have that's called, um, what the heck is it called? In Your Face. In Your Face, yeah, In Your Face Orange, I believe it's called, because it's, it's pretty bold, it's really great. But this would be the lighter version, or, or the, you know, step one to that one. Now you're welcome to do this in a variety of colors. You don't have to put the same color over the entire background. If you want to do a rainbow of colors, if you want to do, um, you know, like gradual, you know, color, like a, what is that called when it's like lighter? Ombre, I guess it is. If you want to do kind of an ombre effect, you can. Um, but I wanted to keep it kind of simple, clean, simple, and something that if you were going to mass produce this, it'd be really, really easy to do because you literally go over the entire thing with the same color. So let's pull that out of there and look how pretty that is already. Already! Love it! I'm going to move this over, flip this over, and use my cloth here just to clean off any excess. There we go. So that is layer number one. Now I'm going to put the Tangerine Dream aside and I've got Kiss Me Red, which is our beautiful red red. It's gorgeous, gorgeous red. Um, it's not a pinky red, it's not a burgundy red, it's just a real true gorgeous red. I'm going to line this up. There we go. So I can see right through it into the um, pattern that I've already put down with stencil number one. Let me make sure I've got all those. I'm just kind of looking left to right and top to bottom to just to make sure that I've got it where I want it to be. <clears throat> what did I do with my other pizza? Oh, here it is. <laughs> <You're in the laughs> Where's my glasses? They're on your head. <laughs> huh. You could use that stencil just for like, um, kind of like little old stems and leaves. Yeah, if you want to use, or something even. yeah, Alan's got a good point. You don't have to use these together. I mean, this, this one alone creates a really pretty pattern. If you wanted to use this one, which you could, you could do it so it looks like just little branches in the background, uh, really pretty. Alan's getting crafty. Listen to him. <laughs> Listen to him. Speaking of crafty, <laughs> can I tell him what you did or do you want to show him next time? No, go ahead. <laughs> huh? It wasn't a big deal if it was for me. <laughs> it's really cute. So um, we are moving our our office and our warehouse to a new location, and um, so we uh, <laughs> it had it had a kitchen in there, like a little uh, what is it called, like kitchenette. a little kitchenette, I guess. From I'm guessing I don't know forty years ago. <laughs> It was pretty bad, and um, and then it also had has a, a bathroom in there that is from the same time period, which was truly disgusting. Um, you know, if you could imagine in a, a warehouse where, well, let's be honest, where a lot of men were probably spending time, so it was just disgusting. Um, 
So I wanted to replace them both. Anyway, the point is, I need something here. I'm, you know what, I'm just gonna get ink on my hands. Okay, the point is we changed out like the kitchen cabinets and stuff like that and we had to put a backsplash. I chose a backsplash tile. So my husband and I, we've never done that before together, tiled the backsplash. Survived. We survived it, we're still married, all is good. <laughs> We still like each other. <laughs> but we had we had some tile left over. And they're big tiles. They're like, what are they, like eight by eight, eight tiles? By eight, yeah. They're big, beautiful, big tiles. And um, so all of a sudden he comes over to me with one and he had put little felt feet underneath it because we're going to have a microwave in there. <laughs> he put little felt feet underneath it and he called it a trivet. <laughs> Which is so cute. So he said, here, you have a trivet that matches the backsplash. So it's super, super cute. My husband got crafty. He put felt on the bottom of it so that it won't scratch the counter. And um, it's my altered project. that is his altered art. <laughs> He's so real, cute. I'm a real boy. He's a real boy now, yes. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Look at my background. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. I love it. I love it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I think it's so cool. Just love it. I love these stencils. I think they're just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. When I asked, you know, my designer for, I mean, I, I, I have a phenomenal team, I'll tell you. Absolutely phenomenal team. <laughs> um, generally speaking, I come up with most of the concepts for you know, what I want the collection to be, what I want it to have and stuff like that, but they're general. They're very general and very broad. And so, you know, I meet with, with you know, with, with our designers and, um, and I kind of let them run with it. And oh my goodness, when, when she came back with this, I just thought, wow, that's even, um, you know, I kind of did not have that in mind um, because I'm not as good as her. <laughs> What I had in mind did not look anywhere near as awesome as this, and I just, just love it. So I've got a fantastic team that uh, goes above and beyond, um, and uh, we work just so well together, and I'm so thrilled and uh, lucky to have them. So um, anyway, so this is the background. This is what I wanted to do for the background, and I'm going to show you, we're going to, I'm not going to cut all of these, I'm going to cut one of these so you can see um what we did because i've cut a whole bunch of them already so i'm going to go ahead and grab this i'm going to have alan run this through um this is a good size die as you can see it almost fills up that uh that a2 card so it's probably it's about four and a half inches tall if anybody's wondering how tall this die is so i'm going to put that on that red card stock and i'm going to have alan run that through and you're going to see what we get <coughs> Um, the rest of the die cutting I already did, um, just so that I had time to make the card and do the, um, the envelope for you. So here you go. Let's go. Oh, wow, look how easily that pops out. I love this. They're so good. All those little pieces just pop out. There you go. I'll get those out with the little machine, little machine, that little tool. Boop, boop. There you go. I'm going to have Alan cart that away and toss out those pieces. And we're just going to get the little pieces here that didn't come out. And actually, it was only one, so fantastic die. And I've used this die many, many times, just so you know. It's not like it was just fresh and brand new, and that's why it worked. The dies are amazing. So here is what I've already cut, okay? I already have a red one, and then I have several in white. I don't know that I'm going to need to go five deep on this, but... We're going to start adhering these because I want to have dimension and I don't want to, I don't want to play with foam <coughs> on this because I want it to lay nice and flat and level. Um, and it's, you know, I think it's going to be a little fragile and it's going to take too much time if I try and piece, you know, bits of, of foam in there. So I'm going to go ahead with my, um, this is our craft glue. All right. It dries clear. It says so right here because it says so. This is one of those things that when you read it, you know, it's true. <laughs> Yeah, you don't often come across that on the internet, but I'm telling you, it's true. <laughs> right. 
All right, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start getting some glue on here. Make sure this is a not one of my older tubes. I don't throw them out until they're like completely empty. So um, sometimes I grab one and especially when I'm doing this in front of you guys, I grab one and it's not, there isn't like a whole lot of glue in it. So I'd like to use it until it's gone. <laughs> so anyway, now go ahead, line this up. You want to work kind of quickly because the this liquid glue does kind of, it dries kind of quick, I'll tell you that. But not as fast as if I had put um, like double-sided tape on the back of this thing. That's where you really run into trouble, or at least I do. I run into trouble when I try and line things up and I've cut it and put double-sided tape on the back of it and then all of a sudden I can't, I lay it down wrong and it's, oh, what a mess. So for things like this, I like to use the liquid adhesive. Um, so we're going to do this one. We're going to see how many I can stack up without it being too much. <laughs> I like to mention on the cards. Have I ever said that before? Not sure. <laughs> Maybe every single time we meet. <laughs> okay, it's just because it's true. So here we go. There we go. Let's line that up. And why did I do white behind it instead of all red? Does anybody know why? The reason is my white paper is my Nina and it's a lot thicker. Um, it's not going to show anyway unless you really look at it from the side. Um, but um, it is probably maybe a little more costly than Nina is, but I like the thickness and I like the durability. So that's why I use it. It's one of those things, I look at paper, especially the Nina Classic Crest, Solar White, 110 pound, if anybody's wondering which weight it is. Um, I think of it as one of my tools. And I think if you have, you know, the better your tools, um, the better your crafting. I think your tools are very important. And the paper that you use is one of those very important tools. That's why when we produce papers, pattern papers, paper packs, 12 by 12s, all that, that's why I'm very, very particular about um, the weight, the type of the paper, the texture of the paper. Um, I like to use really good paper when I craft. I like my projects to be very sturdy. You know, I don't think I'm going to add this last one. I think I'm going to set this one aside because I've got a pretty good thickness going here with this. Um, <clears throat> and I do have one more layer. So I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to set this aside for another project. I also cut one in gold. And the reason I did that was because I want to offset it. I thought it would be really pretty to offset it like this. I could have used the shadow, but I didn't want the shadow. The shadow is wider than I wanted, and I didn't want to cover up. So when I lay this on here over the top of this, you're going to see that little bit of gold behind it, but it, you're not going, it's not going to be real large. So it's just another way to get a shadow, but minimizing the amount of shadow. Um, it's just kind of peeking out a little bit. So let's see. It's just another way of layering up your dies to your die cuts, I should say. You know, like I said, I wanted to have a little bit of gold, but I wanted a small amount of gold. I better move this one over. I didn't want a lot. Okay, so I need this in my other hand. Ah. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. See if I can do this without creating a mess. On the gold, I could very easily create a mess. Slide that over just a little bit. Slide it up. I want the ends to meet, the edges. There we go. Okay. So I am going to, oof, I got a mess on the back of it. I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to put some weight on it so that it dries. 
So the weight I'm going to put is from my MISTI. I'm just going to set that aside. I'm literally just setting it on top of it like this, laying it on top of it. And that's going to hold everything in place and just dry. Okay, so I don't need this gold anymore. I just wanted to show you that I was using the gold. So I'm going to set that aside now. And now we're going to go on to here. I'm actually going to put this card topper right flat on top of my card base, just like so. Um, I would normally put foam behind it, but because I've really layered up my, um, the word, my, the thankful, I don't want to have too much bulk on my card, especially if I'm going to mail this out. I don't want a lot of bulk on it. So let's go ahead, make sure that I'm doing this in the right direction. I want those leaves to be going in a certain direction, going up. So let me lay this on here. Make sure I go straight. There we go. There we go. And now next, I'm going to put a sentiment. This is going to be the piece that goes on the inside. Oh, shoot. Did I do something wrong? Oh, my goodness. I did. I got to get that off of there. I was supposed to trim that down a little bit because I wanted to have a little bit of the orange show through. I was going to ask you that. Oh. I thought it was on purpose. So nope, I, I did I it wrong. It a dumb question to ask. No, it, hey, there's never a dumb question. I'm going to trim a little bit. <laughs> We're going to see how this goes. See, this is me fixing again. Just a little bit. Trim off one edge. <laughs> a little sticky. <laughs> a little sticky. <laughs> yes, a little sticky. See, this is my new, my new shtick is to mess up every time I do a live so I can show you how to fix it. Oh, that's not new. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's your thing. That is my thing, to mess up and fix. I tell you, I mess up all the time. Be nice, Alan. Be nice. You're supposed to be on my side. I think all the other craft companies. There we go. Your lives Doesn't that look stuff. better? <laughs> What'd you say? All the other craft companies watch your lives just for. Just for just kicks. Everybody watches my lives just yeah. to make fun of me. That's yeah. so, you're so kind. <laughs> you can see why I married him. He's always so supportive. <laughs> okay, so let's grab this. I'm gonna go ahead and put my sentiment on the inside of this. Let's hope I don't mess that up. The sentiment is actually going to say, for all that you do. So on the front, it's going to say, thankful. And then we have, for all that you do. So here we go. All right, so for all that you do, <coughs> excuse me, as I choke. All right. Get this one off of here. And I think, I'm going to put it right about here. That gives us, does that look weird there? Should I put it down low for all that you do? Or does that look weird? I don't want it up too high. No, I want it here. I'm going to put it here. That gives us enough room underneath to still, sorry, I'm just trying to center it, to still like put a, um, to write a little message without having the sentiment way up at the top, which I think would look kind of weird. Okay, I think that looks centered. Let's go ahead, get that. Let me check this and make sure, I'm looking along the line there to make sure I've got it straight. And I'm also, first time I'm stamping it, so I'm gonna get any of that residue off there from when it was manufactured. And I am gonna stamp this in black, even though I don't have anything else in black on my card. I could go with the red, I could go with the orange, but I don't know. I like sentiments in black. Use my Stampendable. These are back in stock, by the way, the Stampendable. Took us a little while to get them back in, but if you don't have yours, look how perfect that is. Each and every time, I'm telling you. Helps you to transfer the pressure from your hand very easily, let me clean up here too, very easily across your stamp. Stamp cleaner, extreme clean, love this stuff. This is gonna work on almost every um, ink that you're gonna be working with. 
I use it to clean, like I've even gotten, like on my glass board here, I've gotten, um, you know, some of our hybrid ink. Because the hybrid ink has a permanent, you know, quality to it, right? So I've gotten that on my glass board and I just use my, my Extreme Cleaner and it comes right up. It's perfect. It's excellente. All right, let's go ahead and put this one away. So you can see how easily you can mix the stamp set with the die. Let's get this off of here. And then, is that straight? Yeah, that looks straight. Okay, I'm losing my mind. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the inside of the card now. Hoping it's all dry as I flip it over takes, you know, like I said, it's got a um, combination of qualities, so it has a little bit of a longer dry time. And I'm going to lay this on here, just like so, close to the edge, lay it down straight, there we go, nice and easy all that you do. Look how pretty. Look at the gold. How gorgeous. That's going to go on the front. Love it. Let me get, <clears throat> where's my glue again? What did I do? It's right here. Okay, go back and get, there we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. How does that go? Do, 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 Da, 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 da. <laughs> any, have any of you guys been watching the, well, I think they're new. Maybe they're not. Some of the new game shows on the, what is it, Game Show Network? Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, like America so. Says is one of them that's really cute. Um, Family Feud's not new, but oh my goodness, we watch the ones with Steve Harvey. Oh my gosh, is that guy ever hilarious. Ah, I need my other hand. Let's do this. People Puzzler, is that another one? Yeah. That one's okay. That one, I can actually answer <laughs> questions. <laughs> I get the ones that America says. Yeah. I like, we, we, we have fun with game shows here. We enjoy them. Okay. So lay that on there. It looks centered. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to go ahead and place this aside again with this on top of it. Just have a little bit of a weight. So it's going to sit there. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my envelope going, all right? I've got a lot of it done already, so we're not gonna, I don't think we're gonna go over time. Um, so here's the envelope. This is the envelope die, the eight, oh, we should probably switch the camera, Alan, because nobody can see this whole thing. The other two? Yeah, let's go to the other two. So this is the A2 envelope die. It's got three dies in it. The larger one back here is actually for the base of the envelope. And then this is your smaller side flaps and your larger side flaps. And on the back, let me show you exactly you know, what you need to cut of each of those and how to lay it out. And then if you want to create interesting and fun um, interiors for the inside of your envelope, that's when you would grab the A2 envelope liner die. And, um, and you can customize, and it shows you on the back here exactly, you know, this is the envelope die sold separately. This is what the liner will look like. This is what it looks like here when you put the liner inside the envelope. So that is those. I love these. It's, I think that's like my number one favorite thing that we put out in quite some time. I love, love, love our envelope dies. So I've already cut these pieces just to save some time. And, um, I already went ahead and I did the same, <coughs> excuse me, pattern. This is the liner, all right? Now, if you notice, the pattern doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, and um, that's because my, my die is only, my die, my stencil is only six inches, and this is actually greater than six inches, but this is going to be tucked inside of the envelope, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and stencil some more at the bottom there, you could go ahead. I just time saver for me, I just didn't do it. But when this is cut, you, you get score lines. I don't know if you can see it in, in there or not, but there's actually a score line here. Where's my, where's my scoring tool? Here it is. This is gonna go like this. 
So all you're going to do is fold along that score line. You can see the score lines better, I think. Alan, will you come into camera three again? You can see the score lines on this one. See that score line? So all of these have that score line. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get those folded and, um, and scored. You can see it on that one too. So it's really easy. I think this took all together just a little over one sheet of an eight and a half by 11. It was like I got everything cut on one eight and a half by 11 except for one little corner piece. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so I think we learned last time that the best thing to do is to actually assemble the envelope before putting the liner in. I think that was my mess up that I did last time. So this is the outside of my envelope. I'm gonna lay this down. And where's my tape again? So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my little pieces together on here. Get my adhesive. All right, there we go. I find that the easiest thing to do to put the tape on there and then lay it right up against that edge. Just fold that in and lay it up against the edge. And it's going to be near perfect all the time. It doesn't always have to be perfect, right? It's going to be near perfect. It is handmade. I think it's better if it's not so perfect, to be honest with you, because then it doesn't look like a machine made it. There we go. Of course, come to think of it, if you look at some of the things that the machines do, those aren't always perfect either. <laughs> Just saying. So here's another one. Get the smaller edges. Get that right in the corner. There we go. And then one more. I chose the orange because it is going to color coordinate perfectly with the card base that I did. And then I used the same stencil to create the pattern for the inside now for that liner. You know, you can use pattern paper instead if you want. Um, but I decided to go with the exact same stencil. And I'm going to lay this in here just like so. I like to put it in there and just kind of lay it right down and make sure it's going to be exactly where I need it to be. I'm going to lay this down and get my adhesive going here. There we go. There we go. So there's that side. And now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I like to lay them down together, like right into each other, um, because then I know it's going to open and close better. There we go. Nice and slow so I don't put it at an angle. Now you can see how this is going to go. There we go. And now we're going to go here, just like so. I need a little bit of adhesive on each of these sides. There's one and the other. Let that be a little bit loose. Make sure it's not too tight. And then that gives me a little bit of room, you know, to tuck in a card in some space. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and there we go. Look how pretty, so pretty. Gorgeous. Love it. Okay, what, there's a question here. When using the envelope die, does the weight of the paper matter? Um, no, it, it doesn't, actually. It doesn't. Um, you know, obviously, in tran when you're transporting, you know, if you use a heavier weight, um, it's probably going to hold up better when you mail it. Um, but it does not matter. Um, you know, I would say like here, I, another thing too, I do have a little bit of a, you know, of a fold. I think if you use a lighter paper, 
um, you know, if it overlaps a little bit, like I didn't put mine down perfectly like before the edge, so it's folding over just a tiny little bit. But you kind of learn and play with that and it really doesn't matter anyway. I should have lowered it down a bit, but the little flaps on the side. Um, but, you know, you, when you have um, heavier paper like I've got here, it might hold up better during shipping. But when you think about, you know, envelopes that you get you know, at the store, at a Hallmark or something like that, those envelopes are quite thin. And, you know, it all depends on what you want to use, what you have on hand. And if you want to use lighter paper, use lighter paper. Okay, so, um, but it doesn't make a difference for the die, for the die cutting. I do have one more little piece here that I want to pull out of here. And that is the word sew. Isn't that cute? So I cut that with the sew word die that is part of the, um, the, the big words thankful die set. So it has so for in you and I just did so. And I cut it out um, once out of gold and then twice out of the white. And I'm gonna go ahead and find my adhesive. And we're going to just get this on here. <laughs> I could leave it just like it is because I think it works without it. But I thought it would be pretty just to add a little so right here just like that and I think it's just kind of pretty so thankful not just thankful so thankful <laughs> and then when you open it up it says for all that you do so thankful for all that you do and you have plenty of room to write a little note here I'm even going to on the back of it here do a little stamp of my little, it says Angie Hunt handmade this card especially for you. Go ahead and line that up and hope I'm centering it. We'll see how we do. I haven't used this one yet, I don't think. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Look how cute. It's cute. It's crafty. <laughs> I love it. And then look at it. Oops. I want to make sure that's dry. <laughs> I don't want to get black all over my envelope. But what a beautiful set. Just look how cute that is. So, so pretty. So the background of the card and the liner of the envelope match absolutely perfectly. I love sets like this. So, so fun. Um, if you remember that, that little box, the, um, the envelope box, is another one of our envelopes that we have in this collection. It is a larger die set that you do need a larger... Uh, larger die cutting machine for but it's a box that is I think it's a it's an inch thick um, actually we have it right here this is the box that you can create all right so if you you know what I wonder I wonder if I can fit my envelopes in here <gasps> lo and behold look at that my envelopes will fit in there ha <laughs> ha so you could actually put together because I think you can fit like depending on how what you're you know how much foam and stuff you use on your cards um, you can fit like six cards in here so if you wanted to you could create like three sets of, of card and matching envelopes put them in one of these envelope boxes I mean what a beautiful gift especially with Christmas coming up how fun how absolutely fun to give a handmade gift that you know your family your friend whoever it is can actually enjoy and use maybe you give them maybe you give them a set of thankful cards or a set of birthday cards or whatever it is so that all they have to do is grab from their little box the envelopes and the cards that go together and send out some beautiful handmade gifts that were gifted to them I think that's really really cool I think that'd be fun in fact I might do that <laughs> I might create some of those I just love them so, all right, this is my project for today. So thankful for all that you do. I absolutely love this. I think it's so, so pretty. It's going to fit beautifully in my little envelope here. Just perfectly, perfectly. I'm afraid to do it because I don't have that thing. I don't want to. It's not totally dry yet, so I'm not going to put that in there. I'm going to leave it just like so, just so I don't mess up my card. All right, Mr. Hunt, we are early today. Oh, my, 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 my. Yes. Wow. You want to switch the camera back to me? Yeah, I'll, uh, there you go. I'm ready to go. Okay. I am fluffed. You're <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. So that was fun. I'm looking at people's comments. Thank you, everybody. I'm glad you guys enjoyed this. 
Um, so, so fun. I love doing clean and simple and easy cards like this, especially things that can be mass produced and things that are just, they're just beautiful. And they look handmade, but they look like, you know, they just really look like you know what you're doing because you got really, pro really good products to work with. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, you're funny. Will saying, you can make another card easy. <laughs> I don't think I can. <coughs> I don't think I could do another one in 15 minutes, Will. <laughs> but I do think we have time for a giveaway, so I think maybe we should do that. What do you think, Alan? I don't think so. No, you don't no, think so. How about we do? How about we do the the card shot? <laughs> I always feel so so ridiculous when I have to do that. What, what should I do? How about this? <laughs> I don't know. I have to have a card there, or a picture that goes on the front, so I always do something really kind of dorky. But anyway, okay, how about a giveaway? Did you find a name yet? How about Gretchen Plews? Gretchen Plews? Oh, I, you know, I'm doing it again. I forgot to tell Gretchen what she has won. Well, <laughs> All right, so Gretchen Plews. Gretchen, you are the winner, and you know what you won? Have you have won the big words, uh, the big word thankful die set. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Gretchen, I need you please to send your send your name and your complete mailing address. Send it to customer service at ldrscreative.com and we will get your big word thankful die set out to you right away so you can make your very own cards like this. Yay! Yay! Congratulations. All right, everybody, we are early today. Yes. And I think my husband is hungry because I don't think yeah. that uh, I don't think he has eaten yet, although I have. Um, uh -uh. Uh -uh. All right, that I ate and you haven't. <laughs> we're gonna get rolling for tonight, and we're gonna be back um, next week. Super excited. Not sure what we're gonna do yet. Have to figure it out. But anyway, everybody have a fantastic evening. Um, have a wonderful weekend, and um, until next time, bye everybody.